Technology is changing collaboration on college campuses by going with the trends of where today's students are learning and how they're learning. There's media constantly in their lives and to bring it into the classroom is just the next logical step. This is the Life Science and Engineering Building. It's a $19 million state-of-the-art facility that's uh, been designed for research. Here in the Science Commons, the goal is really to have a space where students can come and collaborate. The technology in this room has improved collaboration. Having digital whiteboard space available to students in a public area and they're able to just stop in and work on the problem of the day and be inspired by the accomplished researchers' work on the large video wall. The students and faculty love this video wall. They love having the technology accessible to them in a public space. It's a hot topic on campus. Other departments are looking into getting their own and actually athletics has already gone through the process of installing their own. Fencer 325 is a room on campus that uh, Panasonic and Lutron work together to pack with the latest and greatest state-of-the-art technology. The room has two 4K 98-inch displays that allow a presenter to show their PowerPoint. It also allows for video collaboration. There's a telepresence unit in the room and the size of those Panasonic displays really allows it to be a life-size experience. The Scale Up Classroom, it's an acronym for Student-Centered Active Learning Environment with upside-down pedagogies. The concept of Scale Up is really to make the student the center of the instruction. So while in a typical classroom that's lecture-based, the instructor comes up, they're speaking, I mean, the students just consume. We want to provide different ways that we can provide instruction outside of the traditional teacher to student. In the Scale Up Classroom, we have a number of tables in which students can actively work on problems. So it's a lab environment. Students learn new material themselves, come in to class and test that material. The technology needs really revolve around displays in the classroom. Every group needs its own display to work collaboratively and then they need the ability to show that work to the entire class. The displays do a number of different things. The instructor is able to showcase their computing device throughout the room. But in addition, they also have full control over what's displayed on these monitors. So students are able to break out into groups. They can hook up their display units, share them with just people that are in their group. But the instructor also has the ability from the control unit to share them throughout the classroom. So I think the students so far have found it to be a very positive environment that allows them to interact more with their classmates and, and learn in a different way, which is always a benefit. Technology has to enhance the experience of learning. Things need to be simple. They need to be user-friendly. It turned out to be that Panasonic was the best choice here at NGIT. The fact that we can get something that's affordable and meet the AV needs of the industry is huge for us.